Loki Season 2 is getting great reviews. Who would have thought it? Loki, like the first season, is getting quite good uh, critical acclaim right now. Uh, and critics have seen a majority of the season. They've seen the first four episodes. Uh, you know, they've seen a lot of things like Marvel back on track, uh, best Disney Plus show ever, best thing Marvel's done, all the usual stuff. Um, now, I, I, I'm going to say this now. Well, I'm uh, going to say I'm going to say this before you say what you're going to say because I think it's going to be exactly what you're going to say, and I'm going to say it now. Uh, coming off last week when we was looking at the Gen V reviews with its perfect score, clearly that don't mean anything because Gen V for you, not for you. So it really goes to show you that I am, I've put this story in here today to say, look, a Rotten Tomato score doesn't mean anything. It's nice when something you're excited for is getting positive reviews. It's nice. It's nice to hear. And it's a bit of like, you know, just bumps up your... Ex- it does bump up your excitement a little bit. It definitely does. But it doesn't mean you're going to like it and it doesn't mean it's going to be for you. But it doesn't mean it's necessarily bad either. It just means, you know, it's not it's for you. Very, it's a very subjective thing. Everything is. Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, everything is. So Rotten Tomatoes isn't the thing to be all and all. Well, that's it. That could be 50, 54 critics, you know. That could just mean a majority of them give it a six out, you know, a six out of ten. That's all that means with that eighty three percent. So yeah, um, but obviously, unlike the universally loved Avengers Endgame, we're <laughs> we're, we're bringing that back. Okay. Um. But yeah, great great reviews. Where does this put your excitement level? Um, I, I don't because because coming like off Xbox. coming off Loki season one, which is your favorite MCU show. Yeah. 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 And now with you know Disney positive Plus show, yeah yeah now with positive uh you know positive reviews in general, which are saying some good things about the show. Where you know. Unlike a Gen V where it's a new untested product for you that you haven't seen, you've only seen the boys, which is in the same universe, where does this, you know, these other factors here to contribute to how excited you'd be? Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm still very excited. I'm glad it's getting good reviews. Um, I just, I, I, the last two, is it two things now? No. I'd say... The last, the, the, lately, and it's, I, I mean, very, very lately, so... MCU let's, TV. Let's start, let's start back. No, 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 no. In hearing about reviews and stuff, I take this with not just a, a grain of salt anymore, or a massive grain of salt. I take it with nothing. I, I, I mean, in the sense of, like, I'm not even accepting what they say until I now see it. Which is, um, the, which is the thing to do. Which is the thing to do, yeah, but... I'm saying when you hear people talk about things and how great it is... Um, it can really set you up for disappointment. It can set you up for disappointment. Now, granted, unlike, say, Avengers Endgame, where they said, oh, yeah, the, the second... Like, the, the whole movie's great, but the second half... Um, I, of, of, of do the you know the, on I think one of the perfect. worst reviews I saw for Avengers Endgame was first two hours is a bit boring, but the last hour... Is That's some it, of the yeah, best yeah. comic book filmmaking you will ever see in your life, That's and even I mean. even the worst review I saw for it, I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, so that's what I mean in that sense. And um, with 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 that being said, it, it sometimes it is true, but f- for some reason I feel like I'm going on a losing streak because you had the Flash, which was like the best um, DC uh, EU comic book movie. Uh, or the best comic book movie in the reviews and stuff. That was clearly DC diehard fans that just will love it no matter what, even if it was shit. The, uh, granted, The Flash was good. It was pretty good. I, I liked it. it. I yeah, liked it a I lot. It was pretty good. Um, and then you look at Blue Beetle and you hear, oh, it's it's uh, the DC EU's finally getting best it right. Best film since Dark Knight. And it, it very much wasn't. Um, it, you know, The Flash is definitely the better film compared to Blue Beetle. And then you had, um, then we had The Creator recently. 
the best sci-fi movie ever. It's, it's a cult classic. It was a steaming pile of shit. And then Gen V, but this is a bit more mixed. This is a bit more mixed. I understand. Well, it's not more mixed. I personally didn't enjoy Gen V. I love boys. I think the yeah. whole thing of that is great. I was really looking forward to Gen V. I didn't look into anything about this because I wanted to go in it completely blind. I knew it was going to be not connected to the boys universe, but it's not going to be. It's a, a true and true spin off. New characters, new environment, new stories, whatever. And I, I just, I'm not enjoying it. I think it's a lot of the stuff that's happening in the show is pretty stupid. I'm not enjoying it. I, I said before in uh, Kyle time that I'm not going to watch this because it's just not appealing to me at all. It just feels very dumb. Um, Guess yeah, so who's got him to watch four. episode four? <laughs> yeah, I watch, well, we're, we're all, well, me and Callum are watching obviously on Friday and then we've got the Continental final episode. Uh, um, and obviously Gen V comes out episode 4 of Gen V comes out at the same time so it's like fuck it I'll watch it with Callum I'll watch it I, I don't want to I'll be completely honest but I'm 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 with him so I might as well just watch it while I'm there um, you, you might again, as well yeah. I won't have a choice with Callum um, but yeah um, and then so obviously with Loki now I'm hearing oh it's, it's pretty great it's Marvel back on track it doesn't fucking mean anything to me right now. Just with how reviewers are doing so it's like reviewers have gone really weird and just kind of chatting shit all of a sudden. Well, um, I I do believe that some how some of them genuinely feel. Yeah, okay, right. Continues to the, the, the creator. Continues to sip alcoholic beverage. It's a cult classic. Yeah. I was looking forward to that film. Sorry for the awkward talk. Yeah. yeah, so that doesn't mean shit to me, but my expectation is pretty high for this show. From the trailers and everything, it looks... And I've seen like little clips here and there. I've tried to avoid it. I've seen maybe one or two clips of the show, 30 seconds long at the most. It's hitting it for me. I've, do, I've done pretty good at avoiding stuff, actually. Keep on that. For the whole entire episode, the entire season as a whole, I'm all aboard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, apparently, uh, longer episodes as well. Apparently, we're getting longer than average episodes. Good. So that's another good thing. Uh, do you want me to tell you exactly when I got excited for Lucky Season 2? I can't give a fuck. Go well, on. I'm going to tell you anyway, because I will impose my will on you, Kyle. Um... When the credits rolled for the end of season one and it said Loki will return in season two, that's when I got excited. Alright. Because I remember sitting there after that episode, right back here actually going, The fucking Kangdus? I can't believe the Kangdus. <laughs> they just dropped yeah. a big massive Kang on us. Fuck's sake. Yes. Yeah. I um I'm I'm really looking forward to the show. I genuinely I, I'm I love Loki as a character. Um at first I I thought he was probably the best villain, but at the same time he didn't feel very villain to me, you know, when the Avengers came out. Um but I've always I've always really, really watched this character on screen in whatever capacity he's in. Yeah. Like I'm so happy he's in every Thor movie. Um, I think he, he's not. For me, he's one of the. Well, he's, well, he's not in. Well, uh, we don't talk about that one. I'm joking. We do because I quite liked it. I quite Ball liked it. Thunder. Well. Yeah. Ball of well, sorry. I'm just think because I'm just thinking of the trilogy. Yeah. The trilogy. Yeah. In the trilogy of the Thor movies, he's in all of them. And for me, we we talk about doing a spin-off show. Well, <laughs> we talk about doing a spin-off show. We talk about doing a uh, another little segment show type of thing called Jen uh, Kyle. We're, we're we're gonna we're gonna think about doing where we speak about movies that are not reviewed very well, and we're gonna go talk about stuff we liked and disliked because we're very different on it. I like For the Dark World. Um, I don't think it's all that bad of a film, um, and Callum really doesn't like it. Um, 
Iron Man 3, I think Colum likes that a lot more than I do. I don't like it. I don't so, like it. I won't like it. Um, so, yeah. That's all I'll say with that. Yeah. No. To me, you know, these reviews coming out now, it's... I can't help but get excited. You know, it's coming Friday. Friday is going to definitely be an, an, no internet day because for the past couple of episodes of Ahsoka, we've been, I've been waking up super fucking early to watch it before I go to work. So, um... You actually get up an extra hour early to watch it. Yep. Fuck off. You, you've been getting up an extra hour early. I've been waking up at four in the morning, turning on my TV and watching Ahsoka. Jesus Christ. Yep. And then when it's done getting up and getting ready to uh You sad bastard. Go to work. Yeah, I know. But No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm just excited. I'm definitely in a internet day. Definitely gonna stay off the internet until I see Mr. Kyle. And there's more things that can get ruined for me as well. So it, you know, it's like well I could get Gen V ruined for me, I could get Loki ruined for me, and I could get um, Continental ruined for me. So, best just to stay off the internet on Friday. Uh, but yeah, 